most people in America don't think about their long-term career when they're planning their life or when they end up being somebody's wife or they end up being somebody's husband in their early 20s. What we know from being pastors across America is that most children are not taught by their families, their friends, their social networks, or even their schools that are doing still home economics of any kind or some sort of health class of any kind, how to help a young person find the right kind of soulmate, the right friend, the right special interest throughout their life. And as a result, that special interest that they find haphazardly tends to end up sort of ruining their life. And they get stuck sort of in Plainville. But here's the reality. What we know about people living in their late 40s and early 50s by some of the ministries, like one out of Indianapolis that tries to help elder employees get new jobs, is that there's a lot more required today. You have to be socially interneted and adept at what social media is, the fact that social media companies actually abuse and use our connections in a way that's immoral. In other words, they'll play somebody at you that you didn't look at at all today. They will interact and interfere through social engineering with, with the conversations that you hold most dear in terms of getting employment or building revenue for your, co your company and strategic alliances or strategic partnerships. We have foolishly allowed these social media companies like Mark Zuckerberg's and Facebook to get involved in our companies. What we really need to be doing is going back to the fact that we have company websites that have to give employees and customers and consumers the right to talk to us in a way that gives us the proper feedback that we can data oriented into some sort of analysis with our mathematical geniuses in our companies to see what is the consistent message coming out of store. Maybe they're selling like crazy, maybe they're meeting sales quotas, but most employees aren't even thinking about that when they do their job. They're not thinking about how they participate in America Inc. because nobody trained them to think like that. And you can see that at the lowest, humblest of levels in society, that those people are not being properly trained to really think about their life. And the point I was starting out with making is that the truth is that when we get to our age in our 40s and our 50s and sometimes our 60s or 70s, if we didn't have a good, well-planned life or if we were still busy being a husband or being a father and having to pay for some kid's young life and offsetting the costs and handling all those things, is that a lot of times when you're in 50s, it's harder than hell to get a real job that can pay for your life. It's very difficult for people to connect with the right social networking because of not only social media companies impeding and impacting our opportunity to get through to the job that they're advertising. In other words, they might just be preventing you because you're not a paid employee, you're not a, a payer. I used to say that, and I still sort of believe, that social media is a pay-to-play network. On the one hand, it produced in LinkedIn an incredible resume uh, profile for people all across America to really mix and move and shift. But now the technology is being so well used and almost overused and sometimes abused where there's so many users but not everybody uses it to, to get a job. Those companies are picking and choosing whoever pays at the highest level as a customer to utilize the network are the people who get pushed in front of the jobs. So basically, the pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness and the opportunity to create legacies for our family network is really impacted by these social media companies. And I've long said that those social media companies are abusing our telecommunication laws. Or did those laws get adjusted by somebody like Trump so that social media companies could fuck us over on telecommunication laws? Because at some time during the Nixon era, we got told certain things. And I sort of remember this vaguely from a uh, 12th grade uh, history and uh, government sort of class. That we have laws that protect our rights to reach out to someone and touch them basically through a telephone network because we have to get jobs. And we are totally going out of the way of abusing the people who were just blasting their resumes and blasting their, their uh, company information to try to do what? To earn and grow their family net worth and other things. So we went to all these things. We had faxes. And then we got these new laws that came out and protected companies whose paper on their fax machines was being wasted by companies they didn't even know. And the solicitation of them by stupid-ass marketing that wasn't working and was totally on the go. So that was a problem in small businesses as they were abusing that technology. And then came along internet with email and then people were blasting and what got called spamming companies for people who are trying to reach out and say, hey, this is me, this is my company, could we get together, could we talk, can we do these things? And then the same sort of thing started happening with text messaging type of tools that were trying to put people in front of other people without that personal interaction. But the truth is, in America, everybody's got to eat. And because everybody's got to eat, we have to have the right to reach out through the appropriate social media channel to talk to someone to say, look, this is me, 
these are my skill sets this is what I see at the same time sort of as a person who functions and and learns and has already been well read enough at the executive level because I used to be an interpreter for those people in corporations and manufacturing who might want to reach out and give you some consumer feedback you have to be willing to listen you have to be willing to see and you have to be willing to hear because one of your local people could literally be slaughtered by their attitudes of I'm in charge of you on the street, I'm in charge of you in my store, and they have no supervisory role at all.